chapter 5 beaks and claws of birds science word pile let us first study meanings of some important words in this chapter strainers a net like device with tiny pores to separate or filter solids from a liquid horny made of horn a hard part that is often seen on the head of some animals such as sheep and cows swallow an insect eating songbird with long pointing wings perch to settle or rest on a tree branch spur a hard projection on a male chicken's leg tendon cord a strand of strong fiber like substance that joins muscles to bones wading to walk through water or mud introduction birds have no teeth in the absence of teeth they have a pair of strong horny jaws called beaks i'm sure you have seen birds with beaks the beaks help birds in a number of tasks like feeding building nests and protecting themselves from their enemies different kinds of birds have different kinds of beaks now the beaks of birds tell us a lot about the kind of food they eat and how they get their food some are designed for opening seeds while others are designed for catching fish or even tearing flesh to eat a small animal some birds also use their beaks to protect themselves from their enemies so let's have a look at the kinds of beaks first sparrows pigeons peacock and finches have short hard and horny beaks all these birds eat grains and seeds spear like beaks of the heron and the kingfisher help to catch fish second a strong hooked beak for tearing flesh is found in eagles and vultures third hard sharp and curved beaks for tearing flesh of small animals are found in hawks and owls fourth a hooked beak for cracking nuts and seeds from fruits is found in cockatoos and parrots the parrot's beak also helps it to climb up trees fifth a strong and heavy beak is found in woodpeckers these birds tap at the bark of trees in search of insects Sixth, soft, broad beaks are found in swallows. Their mouths are very sticky inside. The swallows fly with their beaks wide open, and catch hundreds of flies and insects which stick inside their mouth. Tricky, aren't they? Seventh. A long, slender, and curved beak is found in the hoopoe. 
it uses its beak to pull out insects from holes in the ground. The spoonbill uses its spoon-like beak to gather shellfish and water insects. Flamingos have fine combs along the edges of their bills with strained mud plants and shellfish from the water. Eighth, a broad and flat beak is found in the duck. Now this is used for digging up the mud under water. The beak of the duck has got strainers all along the edge. Water and mud go out through these strainers. Small plants or tiny water animals remain in the mouth. Isn't it interesting how all these birds use their beaks differently? Feet and claws. Now, different birds have different habits. And so their feet and claws also differ in shape and size. Birds like the crow, sparrow, miner, and thrush can hold the branches of the trees firmly even while sleeping. Such birds are called perching birds. They have long and slender claws with three toes in the front and one toe at the back. Types of Birds Climbing birds like the parrot and woodpecker have two toes pointing upwards and two downwards. Climbing birds can cling to the bark of trees. Praying birds like the eagle, hawk and owl have strong, sharp claws. These claws help them catch and hold their prey firmly and then carry it away. Running or scratching birds like chickens use their sharp horny claws to scratch the earth for seeds and worms. I'm sure you've seen chickens scratching the soil and wondered why. Well, now you know. So these birds have strong feet with three long toes in front and a short hind toe. Male chickens, that is cocks or roosters, have a spine-like spur above each foot. Wading birds like the stork, heron and the crane have thin and long legs with wide-spreading toes. These toes keep the feet from sinking in the soft mud. Swimming birds, like the duck, have special webs of skin between each of their toes. These work like paddles and help the birds to swim easily. A pintail duck swims with its webbed feet.